Welcome to Professional Development for Write on Track, a writing program for third graders. The program includes three components, a student handbook, a grammar skills book, and a free online teacher's guide. Let's take a look at the student handbook. This is Write on Track. As you can see from the back cover, it has five sections, the process of writing, the forms of writing, the tools of learning, the proofreader's guide, and the student almanac. Let's take a look inside. The process section gives an overview of writing, goes through pre-writing, writing, revising, editing, and publishing, and helps students with sentences and paragraphs. The forms of writing cover the major modes, personal writing, narrative writing, explanatory writing, persuasive writing, writing about literature, research writing, and writing poems and plays. The tools of learning teach the skills that students need to succeed in all of their classes, finding information, reading and spelling, viewing, speaking and listening, thinking and learning. The proofreader's guide covers conventions, punctuation, mechanics, spelling, usage, sentences, and the parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. The student almanac includes exciting sections on using language, exploring science, improving math skills, and surveying social studies. Let's take a look at the process section with one writer's process. This chapter follows a student writer through the process of creating an essay. We see the student selecting a topic and gathering details, writing a first draft, revising the draft, editing and proofreading, and finally publishing a finished essay. Let's take a look at the forms section. This is a chapter about writing personal narratives, stories about you. Students receive an introduction to the form, read a student model, take a closer look at what's working in that student model, and then follow guidelines to create their own writing through pre-writing, writing, revising, editing, and proofreading. Now let's take a look at the tools of learning. This chapter teaches students how to give speeches. It helps them pick a topic they will love and gather details about it. It helps them think about the purpose of their speech and to plan their speech, perhaps with note cards. It gives them support for practicing their speech and giving their speech. Here's a sample speech written out as a manuscript. The chapter also helps students create a slideshow with visuals. Now we've arrived at the proofreader's guide. It includes all of the important rules and examples for using English correctly. The first section is marking punctuation. Here are rules and examples for periods and commas. Let's move on to the student almanac. The student almanac includes pages for using language, exploring science, improving math skills, and surveying social studies. These pages inspire students to write not only in the English language arts class, but also across the curriculum. This first section talks about the origin of the English language. You'll also see different English words that come from other languages around the world. Students will enjoy learning to say hello and goodbye in other languages. Now let's take a look at the Write on Track skills book. It provides activities that teach all of the rules from the proofreader's guide. You'll find sections on using punctuation, checking mechanics, checking your spelling, using the right word, sentence basics, sentence problems, sentence combining, and the parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Each activity begins with an explanation of a rule along with an example. Then students have a fun activity to try out what they learn. Another activity helps support the first one, and then students are prompted to write their own sentences and apply what they have learned. Here we see more activities on periods and other end punctuation. These activities focus on the kinds of sentences 
on avoiding sentence fragments, and on fixing other sentence errors, such as run-ons. Now let's take a look at the free online teacher's guide. It's accessible on any device that has access to the internet. You don't need to log in. Simply go to k12.thoughtfullearning.com and click on Teacher's Guides. You can watch a video that will help you understand the teacher's guides. Getting started with your free online teacher's guide. If you are working with one of Thoughtful Learning's student writing handbooks, you may have noticed that there is a free online teacher's guide. Then you can scroll down to find your teacher's guide, right on track. The teacher's guide includes a scope and sequence, year-long timetable, getting started activities, chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide to the student handbook, assessing writing, research basis, and activities and handouts. Let's look at the year-long timetable. This suggested year-long timetable presents one possible sequence of writing and language skill units based on a five days per week class. In week one, we might want to start with some getting started activities. That link takes us to a page that is full of getting started activities. Each of these is a download. You can open it in Microsoft Word and have students edit it digitally. Or you can open it in Google Docs and distribute it as part of your Google Classroom. Finally, you can print it out and students can fill it out by hand. Let's go back to the year-long timetable. So in week one, we started with some getting started activities. Then we'll teach the first week with the handbook and then writing in journals and logs. Let's click there. It takes us to the chapter on journals and logs. We can see the opening page of the chapter a startup activity that we can use to introduce it, and a think about it quote. Afterward, we see the state standards that are covered in this chapter. Then page by page from the handbook, you receive support for teaching, including this mini lesson of starting a journal. In addition to mini lessons, you'll also find downloads for checklists and rubrics and all sorts of graphic organizers. Let's go back to the year long timetable. In addition to subjects and predicates in the handbook, we also have subjects and predicates in the skills book on pages 69 through 76. You can see the same pattern in week two, a couple of chapters from the handbook, as well as supports from the skills book and the proofreader's guide. In week four, you see that we start students writing full essays, writing personal narratives. We'll teach about run on sentences in the handbook and then assign the skills book pages that we just saw. You can find all of the downloads in the chapter by chapter guide to the student handbook, or you can go to activities and handouts. Here you see a full listing of downloads, a collection sheet, a revising guide, a response sheet, an editing checklist, sentence combining activity, and so on. So how can we get started with all of these materials? You can download the Right on Track program sheet. It provides a summary of everything that we've learned, the way that the handbook is organized, the way that the free online teacher's guide works, and the way that the skills book works. The second page of the program sheet gives a simple four-step process for getting started. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. Thank you for participating in this professional development for Right on Track. We hope this program helps your students and you become the best writers that you can be.